Well, good morning. This morning, our scripture is found in Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, and it goes like this. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. Today, I'd like to do something with just a little bit different. I want to give you a, a, a test, if you will. Uh, first question is, and I want you to think hard about this. Do you have a passion to pray? Now, I know some of you think that's pretty hard doing. Well, you know, if you're really fired up for God, if you really love him, and, and you want to see your friends and neighbors uh, come to know the love of God, you're going to have to be fired up with prayer because you're going to be praying for them. Yes. And all, all prayer is is just an ongoing, all-day conversation with the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's not that difficult. It is not that difficult. It's something that you have to learn to do. Question number two. Do you love the Word of God? You know, I believe if you're really hot toward God, you're going to know His Word. You sure will. You're going to look forward to reading it every day. You're going to look forward to listening with your heart's ears as to what the Bible is telling you as you read it. I believe that with all my heart. Number three, do you hate sin? The sin in your life, do you hate it? Because the Bible tells us we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God, so even myself, I've got sin, and I hate it, and I hope you do too. If you're hot for God, you'll weep at the sin that you see around you, and you'll weep for the sin that's in you, that you're, you're trying to rid yourself of. We need to do that, folks. We need to work diligently to clean our lives up with the Lord's help. We can't do it on our own. I promise you that. It's only with him. Number four, are you looking forward to the return of Christ? Are you waiting for him? I hope you are. You know, that's something that we all should be doing is listening for that eastern sky to open up and the trumpet to blow. I'm looking forward to his return. And that should be every child of God's desire is that the Lord's return is soon. So are you excited about seeing him? Hmm? Are you ready for him to come? Or would you be stand ashamed if he should show up today? Something to ponder. Fifth question. Do you obey Christ? His commands, his commandments. D do you? You know, is it your heart's desire to please God in every way possible? Is it? You know, John 14, 15 tells us, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Yep, that's right. So let me ask you today, what's your spiritual temperature? Huh? You hot or cold? Or are you lukewarm? I've been in that lukewarm. I didn't like it. 
No, that's a stalemate. In fact, in Revelations 3.16, the Bible tells us, uh, uh, So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither hot nor cold, I will spew thee out of my mouth, says the Lord. Mm -mm. I sure don't want that to happen to me, and I hope it doesn't happen to you either. Well, I hope you consider these things today. Where do you really stand? I hope you're not just lukewarm. But if you are, you can change that. Well, may God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for us, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.